Okay, in the last video I was showing you how to use Joomi, which is a um, extension for Joomla, and it's very cool. Once again, you, what you do is you install Joomla, you go to Extensions, Install, and you browse for the, let's say you, you go Extensions, Install, you browse for the Joomi um, f uh, zip package, and you upload the file and install it. And once you've done that, you can go to Component, Joomi and there's a great website. Joomi has a great website for showing you how to do stuff and you can click on uh, Joomi applications here and you can make a new application. So I clicked new and I made an application called Dan's Chat and it allows me to put some PHP code in here right and then I can make that a page on my website essentially. I can make a menu link on my website to link to this whatever this code is right. So it's hard to see so anyway I gave it a title Dan's Chat alias Dan's dash chat and I'm going to show you this what I put in here I've got it uh, pasted into notepad here and it's pretty easy it's just an opening PHP tag and then this is a tag that I don't even know you need this is a defined uh, jexec or die it's used in Joomla to control anybody trying to unauthorized access to your Joomla site and then here's kind of the heart and soul of some of this stuff you've got uh, uh, dollar sign user equals ampersand j factory colon colon get user right so this will get the user um, and load it into the variable user and then if user is uh, if a user is not a guest meaning if the user is logged in username equals user and then username so this will load the username into a variable right so if the user is logged in we'll get a variable called username. You can see this here. And then end PHP, right? So that's the opening PHP part right here. Then I've got an object embed tag here, right? And in this object embed tag, this is uh, embeds the um, Flash movie. And you could get this just by um, using um, Flash to get your object tag. And you'll see here I've got the width of the movie here, the height of the movie. And then in this param tag, it says param name equals movie value, and then I pass it the path to the file. So this is images forward slash media forward slash dance chat dot swift. And then here's where I grab that variable that I pass into Flash right here. And that is um, you put right after Dan's chat dot swift question mark the name right the name so this is going to be the, the variable the name equals and then some PHP a greater than sign um, question mark PHP an opening PHP tag echo dollar sign username right the username and then a semicolon and then the end PHP tag which is question mark and then a less than sign right the whole thing goes into quotation marks right so the value equals the path to the flash movie plus a question mark and a variable and the value passed to the variable you have to do that one more time under the embed tag so there's the embed tag here source and you pass that same thing one more time under the embed source right and then the width and the height and that's your object tag that puts the flash movie right there on the page then I've got a PHP tag down here and an um, curly brace end curly brace else statement so that if this if doesn't work right if this if doesn't work we've got an else tag here which will echo um, and then this is a little some HTML line break paragraph and then in bold you need to log in to use the chat room and then end bold end paragraph uh, line break line break line break right and so this PHP code right here at the end and then the end PHP tag here this little bit of PHP down here at the end um, is the else situation right in our conditional statement if we're um, logged in we we get a variable called username else we need a message sent you need to log in all of this goes in this little window for Joomla applica application 
you save it, right, which I did. And then if you go to main menu under Joomla, you can hit new and you can make a, a Joomi menu link. You can see I've got one here and you just tell it which one you want to do. So you hit new and you pick Joomi. This is a menu link and then you just tell it which Joomi application you want to connect to. So I said Dan's chat and then I give it a title right here and I hit save and I'll have a Joomi menu item and the result was Dan's chat room right here. I can click in here. It tells me I need to log in, right? So I need to log in. I put in the login, put in the password, which is my password. Click login. The username is passed right to the Flash movie and it's send, send login is called and it's sent right to my login and I have my character. So now I can chat now the next thing to do is is to make this better by um, creating um, new people so people can upload their own avatars, changing the room list, and doing all that. And I hope to do that soon.